Christmas offering theme this year is Rejoice. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy from Matthew 2, 10. Frederick Buechner reminds us there is not one of us whose life has not already been touched somewhere with joy. Joy is a mystery because it can happen anywhere, anytime, even under the most unpromising circumstances. In highlighting and honoring the 2020 Christmas offering, we've asked some of our folks around the region to respond to the question, what brings you joy in this particular season of Advent and Christmas? Joy and Advent, that's easy. It's Jesus, others, and you. Christmas and Advent are such wonderful times. And they just give an amazing vibe for me just the Christmas lights, hopefully the snow, but people coming together next to, next to a fireplace, drinking hot cocoa, and just being able to appreciate each other's company, honestly. Now, in times of coronavirus, it's not exactly that easy, but just that feeling of family and connection is always just so peaceful. For me, joy is a thing that sneaks in unexpected. It's not something you can manufacture, but it's something that rises from inside. It's the way that Beekner reminds us the worst thing is not the last thing. There is joy in knowing that there's more to the story. This story that we start at this time of year that's filled with wonder and inspiration, with light and promise and newness, starting all from a stable, from a manger, from a baby. What's not joyful about that? For me, the joy of Advent and Christmas is in remembering and reliving the mystery that is God with us. Taking a long, loving look with complete awe and wonder. And I suspect this year's remembrance, however ironic, will be even more joyous, comforting, reassuring. What brings me joy in the Christmas and Advent season? It is the beauty and blessing and the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and sharing that story with so many others. Have a Merry Christmas. God bless you. Thank you. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky look down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the Pastor Paul Regal here. For me, Advent and Christmas is about getting the story of God's great gift of presence, Emmanuel, inside us. Merry Christmas. And some of my favorite things about Advent and Christmas, by the way, Advent is my favorite season in the church year. I love the carols, of course, and the anticipation and the scriptures of the prophets. And I love gathering with people in the sanctuary and singing those carols, lighting the candles. And of course, I love the food of Christmas, making Annie Guzman's sugar cookie recipe and mincemeat pie, which some people turn their nose up at, but um, I'll eat your slice. Merry Christmas. I have two things that bring me joy this Advent season. The first is my children. (laughs) While they get frustrated and don't really understand what's going on with this pandemic, they're flexible, they're resilient, and they're life-giving. There's nothing quite like the joy of a child at Christmas. That joy is contagious and inspires joy in me as well. Second is you, the church. This pandemic has stopped a lot of things, but the church is not one of them. I've seen you through many congregations pivot and adapt with grace and find new ways to be the hands and feet of Christ in this world. And that brings true joy. I'm reminded of the words that Jesus said, I came into this world 
that I might serve and not to be served. He went on to say, when you do this to the least of these, you do it unto me. I cannot think of anything else that would give me any greater joy, especially during this time, than to serve God's people, to serve the least of these. This is when I feel I'm closer to God and I'm being more like Christ. God bless you, especially during this holiday season. The things that bring me joy during the Advent season is first and foremost, family. This is my son, Eli. Um, but also the things that bring me joy are the smells of the season, the trees, the home cooked goods. But as we get closer and closer, to remember all that God did for us in the bringing of His Son, Jesus Christ, into our realm so that we may know Him better. Merry Christmas and have a great New Year. Today I ended 14 days in quarantine, not because I had the COVID, but I had been exposed and I'm fine, feeling great. And like most people, I'll be very glad to see this pandemic come to an end. But at the same time, there are things about it that make me thankful. I'm thankful that I was created for a time like this. As in time, God called Jesus to be born in Bethlehem of Judea. He also provided Mary and Joseph as the ideal parents to receive him. And through the ages, so it has been. God has created us in our own time for the times we experience. And God has created this, us, for such a time as this. Amen. Something that brings me joy during the Advent season is um, the hanging of the green ceremony at my church. I love seeing it all lit up and all the joy in the room. For many years, Christians have been lighting these Advent candles. And that is perhaps something that brings me joy, is that no matter what my circumstance, these lights will all be lit and will bring us to the joy of Christmas blessings. Each of us can supply our own surprising moments of joy. Of course, one of those moments of joy is hearing and pondering once again the story of the birth of Jesus, God with us. This story stirs deep within us divine joy, and out of this joy, we are asking that you please give a portion of your finest gifts to the Christmas offering. 100% of every gift supports the regional church and its ministries. Your gift is how we live in covenant together, walking the journey of life in all its varied circumstances, shaping disciples and serving our neighbors in need with the love and grace of Jesus Christ. We usually have special offering envelopes, either, uh, either in the pews or in the bulletins. Because many of us are meeting virtually, you may give an extra gift to your church by mail or electronically. And note on the check or in the online gift, Christmas Offering 2020. Your church treasurer will know what to do with it. May the joy of the birth of Jesus fill your heart this Christmas. And may God's blessing of faith, hope, peace, and love continue to be upon you.